In the first movie, we found the Erica D-Tech Polovox filter to be interesting, but not quite as wild and crazy as this reputation. The fun happens when you start increasing the resonance slope. Let's go ahead and get this point where we have a little bit of audible resonance here. Let's see a little peak there around the fifth harmonic on our spectrograph display. And now we'll start increasing the resonance slope. You see the waveform grow. So the resonance peak is moving up in frequency. And now you hear some instability start to come in. I can cut back the input level a little bit that, but the input level will drive it into a more unstable response. Up to full polyvox mode. Very sensitive to that input level. Let's do a slow filter sweep. Very pronounced as we come across those harmonics. If you like the instability, that's a lot of fun. If you don't like it, dial back the input level. Now, if you want to get even crazier, start playing with the CV assign control. That takes some of the control voltage coming in, which we're using right now to lift the cutoff frequency and also track the keyboard a little bit. And we'll start to send it to the resonance amount, increasing the amount of feedback and driving it into oscillation. When you have an envelope coming in and you assign a little bit of that envelope's peak or blip to the resonance, you'll get an additional amount of resonance or feedback or oscillation just on the attacks. I'm going to go ahead and go for a shorter decay there. Start pulling down the CV sign as I play notes. You can hear the more extreme resonance now. And you see the display in the spectrograph go to noise during that sweep. Now that may seem very unruly when you have a slower envelope like this. It's actually a lot of fun when you have a very short envelope. Because you get that, just a little bit of punch right at the start of a note. Again, the amount of craziness is also controlled by the resonance slope. Going to flat gives a much more normal filter response. Going to a polyvox slope gives you the instability. Of course, resonance mount controls this too. And also input level also affects how much instability you have. Particularly when we bring our second oscillator into the mix. Again, you still have the cutoff curve as well. Much brighter sound, more muted sound. Very obvious the difference between one and two pole with this filter. It's not as obvious with some other filters. And as if it wasn't enough that the DTEC gave you all this control over how stable or unstable you get. Again, basically, the more clockwise you go in resonance and resonance slope, and the more counterclockwise you go with CV assign. The more unstable you get, also higher levels make you more unstable. This does have a switch to go into a bandpass mode as well. We can really tune notes. And can start playing around with resonance. And 
get really on these edges of instability if you're overdriving it. Very sensitive to input level in addition to resonance amount. More control voltage to resonance. More feedback, more oscillation, more instability. Or you can just make it a very tame filter. So if you want something that's a bit crazier, a bit noisier, a bit wilder, a bit edgier, go seek out what's referred to as an unstable or so-called aggressive filter. One based on the Russian Polvox design will get you there. And I particularly like the Erica DTEC variation because it's an enhancement on the original Polvox design and gives you even more control.